that. Morning, Tracy. Hello. Hi. Right. We are going to start seated as much as I'd like to start laying down. I think we need a little bit of energising and waking up. So um, sit either on a pillow, go back so you can see, on a pillow, cross legged, on your shins, and tie up to you whatever's comfortable. Just try and draw the crown of your head up nice and tall. If this is going to be uncomfortable for a few rounds of breathing, just get comfortable. So like I say, either on your shins or cross legged. And then gently just draw your eyes closed. Listen to the sound of the rain if you can. And really let your belly release. And then we'll just start a few rounds of breath. Now I tend to just do four seconds, but if you feel that, that four seconds is too short and you want to go longer, just start to count your own breath. Um, but really just, I've found lately I'm very shallow breathing. I'm all up here and in my shoulders because I'm stressed. So I'm going to try and join in. <laughs> so take a slow inhale in. And exhale out. And try and do it through the nose if you can, just to slow it down a little bit more. If that's not comfortable, just breathe through your mouth. Double check that your chest is lifted, your belly is free, the shoulders are dropped. And like I say, if you struggle with that four seconds, just do your own rhythm. We're just trying to consciously are we lifting our chest? Are we releasing and expanding our belly? Is our attention on our breath? rise and fall of your chest. Draw your hands up over your head. Grab hold of your left wrist, bring it over the right. Grab hold of that right wrist, bring it over the left. Come back to centre. Interlace your hands, push your hands forward so that you're creating that a little bit of a space in between your shoulder blades. And then turn your palms out, reach up, lift that chest. Again, drop those hands just to face level, palms into you, push away. And then palms out, lift that chest up. 
Bring the right hand by the right hip. Sweep that left arm up and over for a side stretch. And then just drag this left hand on the floor. Move your body, sweep round to the left. Left hand by left hip. Right arm up. Side stretch. Again, sweep that right hand in front of you. Right hand by right hip, left arm up. One more, over to the left, reaching that right arm up. Come back to centre. Right hand behind you, twisting round to the right, so left hand to right knee, and you're just twisting your torso. And then come round to the other side. Trying to wake up that spine nice and gently. Come back to centre. Come and rest on your back. Knees bent. Align that spine with your neck. Heels into bottom. Fingertips towards heels. Let's do a few, a few rounds of bridge. So just try and get the small of your back onto the mat. You peel your pelvis up. And then super slowly, bringing that spine all the way down. I mean, I get to an area where it's quite uncomfortable because it's so tight. But I'm really consciously trying to get one notch of my spine down. And then peel your pelvis up. Push it up to the sky. Again. One notch of your spine, we're in no rush. And then lifting up again. Lift your heels up, maybe bring your feet in a little bit more so you can get that bit more of that lift of your hips. Take that right leg up to the sky. I want you to try and push a little bit more, so push those hips up. Really engaging that left bum. Push it up again. Get that fire burning in that left side. Fit it up again. And then rest that ankle onto that left thigh. Again, still trying to bring one notch of that spine onto the mat at a time as you drop your pelvis to the mat. And then reach that left thigh nice and gently into your body. If that, you're not really feeling anything, you can bring your hand to the underneath, uh, underneath your knee on your shin. So try not to yank it into the position nice and slowly. Waking it up. You can almost hear it pinging. And then slowly release. Bring both feet flat again. Peel that pelvis up, lift those heels, <coughs> again maybe slightly walk those feet in towards your bottom again, so push those hips up, left leg up, push, and then again sit here a little bit higher, another little push, and then rest that ankle onto that right thigh. Slowly, slowly as you bring your hips down to the mat. Hug that right knee in, either interlace behind the thigh or on top of the shin. But nice and slowly. And gently release. Unhook that foot. Hug your knees into your chest. And then just move around a bit, just so that the small of your back isn't forgotten. Wiggle it around on the mat. A little bit of a massage. And then let that left leg go long. Right knee into chest. Flex and point your foot. Rotate your ankle. And then you're going to draw your forehead up to mid your knee and just lift that left leg off a little bit, a couple of inches off the floor, forehead to that right knee, and then release. Two more times, hug 
Bring that knee into your chest, forehead to meet knee, and just lift that left leg off the mat slightly. Reset, and then one more. Let that left leg go flat. Bring that right knee over to the left, gently twist your head over to the right. back to centre, left knee in to meet right knee, right leg to go straight, flex and point that left foot, rotate it, one direction then the other, and then forehead up to meet knee, lift that right leg off the mat, and then straighten that right leg to the floor, rest your head, two more times, Forehead in, lift that leg, slowly lower. Last one. And then slowly bring that knee over to the right, twist your body over to the left. Come back to centre. Find yourself into your tabletop position. Now, if you want to do this by rocking and rolling up and all the way over, if you're not feeling that energetic this morning, just find yourself in a nice tabletop position. So, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Pull your chest through. Take an inhale and then exhale. Arch your back. Come into that cat position. Pull your chest through, bring your heels into your bottom this time. And then slowly flatten your feet, arch your back, and if you want, lift your knees. Drop those knees, pull that chest through. Heels into bottom if you want. And then flatten those feet, feet <laughs> arch those back, lift those knees. Slowly. Bring yourself to that tabletop position and just bring that right foot up to the sky. So when we're hugging our knee, when we're laying down, we know that we can get that knee right into that chest. So I want you to pull that chest through, coming into that cow position. Then cat, tuck that knee into your chest, arch your back. Push that footprint up to the sky, lift your heart. And then again, knee into your chest and meet your forehead. Again, lift that foot. And then draw that knee in. Take that foot up, straighten it, and then just kick it out to the side. Come into that gate pose. So reaching those arms up. Slide that right hand down that right leg. Left arm up and over. So try not to fold forward, side stretch. And then coming over to the other side, either hand on hip or hand on the floor, and try and push that hand away, push that foot away. So you can feel that stretch all the way down that right side. Come back up, place your hands down, place that knee down, lift that left knee up to the sky, pull that heart through, pick your toes if you feel you're a bit wobbly, and then tuck that knee into your chest as you arch your back, really hugging it in. And then lifting it up behind you. Lift your heart. Again, tuck that knee in. Arch your back. And then one more. Really pull that heart through. Tuck that knee into your chest. Take that foot up and then straighten it. Kickstand it out to the side. Reach those arms up. And then, oh, just lost my gazebo cover. Left hand down, left leg. Right arm up and over. Really trying to free up that side. Coming over to the other side. Hand on floor or on your hip. And again, just, you're trying to reach that hand 
hand away and push that foot away. Almost feeling it from the tips of your toes to the outer blade of that foot. Engaging that core, bring yourself back up. Hands down, knee underneath. Flick your toes coming to downward dog. You might want to pad it out. Put one heel down, then the other. And then just try and find that good position. Leaving it in your hamstrings, drawing your tummy to the tops of your thighs. And then lift that weight forward, come into plank. Drop your knees here if you want to. And then slowly lower that chest and that chin down. Sweep that chest up, gently on your lower back. And then just look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Flip your toes. You're just going to bring, so lift your knees up, bring your heel, hips over to heels. So it's almost like a little bit of a child's pose. And then lift your bum up into downward dog. So we'll do that again. So lift that weight forward into that plank, chest and chin down, sweep up. You can either untuck your toes or keep them tucked. And then you're going to flip your toes, lift your knees, hips over heels, a bit strong on the arms, and then lift that bum up. Sweep that right leg up, heel into bottom, and just circle that right knee in one direction and then the other. And then try and bring it all the way through, lightly placing it in between your hands, dropping that left knee, sweeping your arms up overhead. Sink those hips down. Grab hold of that left wrist and bring it over to the right. Keep that balance. And then right wrist over to the left. Come back to centre. Start to straighten that right leg to your half splits. Hands down to the earth. And I want you to point your toes away from you. And then flex your foot. So toes in towards your body. Point your toes away. And then draw it in. One more. Bring that weight forward, hands either side of your foot, you're going to lift this back leg off and I want you to come into standing splits. Now I can't do standing splits, so I'm not expecting anyone else to, I want you to keep that back leg off. Try and tip that weight forward, hands are on the earth supporting you. And then slowly come into warrior three, so try and bring your hands to heart centre if you can, if not just leave them on the floor and just start to lower that back leg down, nice, and whilst in that warrior three, if you can, reach your arms forward, so you're pushing your hands away, push your foot away, strengthen that leg, bend it if you need to, and then just connect your palms, bring those hands back to heart centre, and just bring that left knee behind that right knee, just let it touch, take it back up behind you. Let it touch, and then back up. One more, if you can, super slow. And then slowly start to lower that foot to the floor nice and lightly. Reach your arms up. Straighten that right leg, drop that weight forward, coming into that pyramid. Bring the weight forward, frame that foot. Try and tuck this right knee into your chest as you lift that foot, take it back to plank. Lower your chest and your chin down, sweep up. Take a nice inhale, flip your toes, lift your knees. Bum over heels, lift that left, lift the bum up into downward dog. Left leg up, heel into bottom. Circle the knee in one direction. And then the other. And then bringing that foot in between.
between your hands. Maybe you need to shuffle it through. Drop that right knee. Sweep both hands up. Grab hold of that left wrist, bring it over to the right. Try and keep your base as still as possible when you do that. And then right wrist over to the left. Come back to centre, half splits. So start to straighten that left leg, hands down to the earth. Flex and point your foot. So try and do it with your breath. Still trying to draw your tummy to your thigh. Flex and point. Two more times if you can. And then bring that weight forward. Hands inside of your foot. Lifting that back leg. Come into those variation of standing splits. So lifting that leg up. Hands down to the earth. And then slowly try and come into that warrior three. So either hands to heart centre or hands still on the floor. Try and reach your arms forward if you can. Still focusing on that breath. Connect those palms, hands to heart centre. Just bring that right knee, just touch the left knee, back of that left knee, straighten up behind you. Two more times. Nice and controlled. <laughs> and then, <laughs> warrior three, slowly lowering that back foot down, and then we'll reach those arms up. Start to straighten that left leg, tip that weight forward, coming into that pyramid. Start to bend that left knee, bring that right foot through to meet left foot. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, straighten your legs, reaching up nice and tall. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come to flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Bringing your right foot behind that left foot, so a bit cross. So you're just crossing your leg. Bring your left hand down, right arm up to the sky. Head can either be looking up or down. And then just bring that hand down, swap hands. So left arm, uh, arm up. You might find that's quite restricted. Or it's super easy. Bring that left hand down, swap the cross of your leg so that that left leg is now behind. Bring that left arm up to the sky. Head either looking up or looking down. Left hand down, right arm up. Bring that right hand down. Slowly curl yourself up and then I want you to come to seated keeping your legs as they are, if you can. So coming down that cross-legged position. Nice. Soles of your feet together, knees out. Come into that Balakonasana. So here the variation you might find that heels in towards your body is better, or heels further away. I'm just gonna lift your chest and fold over. So you can hook onto your toes Use them almost as a bit of leverage just to draw your chin to your chest, curl your shoulders over, let your knees be heavy. Slow that breath down. And slowly bring yourself up. Keep your right leg in towards your body, let your left leg go long. And then just slowly bring that foot a little bit closer to that left thigh. Coming for a side stretch, you can either hold on to your ankle, hold on to that big toe, reach this right arm up, side stretch. Here you've always got that option to 
release that left hand and bring it to your right knee and then open up that chest. Don't worry if you can't touch your foot with this left hand. It just kind of gets further down the back. If your bottom hand is out, just release that first. You're going to bring your right hand by your right hip. Sweep your left arm up, push your hips. Put that weight into that right knee. Pushing those hips forward. Slowly lower that bum down. Swap your legs. Right leg out, lift. Sole your foot towards that thigh. Finding that hand placement. You might find it's different. You might find you want to bend in your knee. Bring this left arm up and over. Right hand to left knee if you want that added stretch. Again, we're just trying to do this side body stretch. Release that bottom hand if it's there first. Slowly bring yourself up. Plant that left hand by that left hip. Put the weight in that left knee. Sweep this right arm up. Push your hips forward. Almost reach back and then slowly lower those hips. Bring yourself top half of your body down and then just walk your feet slightly wider than your hips. Drop your knees over to the right, head over to the left. Here you've got that assist if you want to put the weight on that left knee with that right foot. Just to weigh it down. Arms try and be out in a T shape or cactus arms. And then release that foot if it is on that knee. Engage that tummy as you draw your knees up and over to the other side. Turn your head over in the other direction. Left foot anchoring onto that knee. You want a little bit of an assist. And then release that foot if it's on that knee. Knees up to centre, hug them into your chest. Again, either circling or rocking from side to side. Trying to wake up that lower back a little bit. And then find yourself in your Shavasana, whether that be legs straight or legs bent, arms out to the side or into your body, entirely up to you. You can be propped up by pillows. Just find a little bit of stillness. Gently close your eyes if they're not already. Try and take a nice big inhale and exhale to fully expand your chest. And just scan your face to make sure it's nice and relaxed. Allow your hands to release, your feet to release. As you scan each part of your body, to try and bring it into a little bit more stillness. Put that attention on your breath. Or on the points of contact that you have with the floor. The noise of your breath as you inhale and exhale. body just sinking and settling a little bit deeper into the mat. Scan 
your body from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. Allowing every cell to be met with peace and ease and groundedness. attention to you and you only, your energy, your breath, your body, your mind. Allowing that peace and ease to travel through, that stillness, to be in your mind as well as your body. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretching them out, clenching your fists, squeezing your toes in, stretching them out, rotating your ankles and your wrists, stretching your body like you've just woken up, arms up over your head, past your ears, and then scoop your knees into your chest if you can. Keeping those movements slow as you gently rock from side to side. And then allow your body to drop to one side. And just take that moment to be present, to be in the now. To bring yourself up to seated, keeping those eyes closed, drawing your shoulders down. Lifting your heart, filling it with gratefulness and thankfulness. Lifting the crown of your head. And sweep both arms up overhead. Connect your palms together, seal that energy in, and draw it into your heart. Keep it there for the rest of the weekend, the rest of the week, the rest of the year. And then bring your thumbs up to your third eye. Honouring the light in you, honouring the light in me. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful day, everybody.